Good morning. I am Leanne Pierce from Community Christian Church, and this is May, my special helper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we are going to open up the next two Easter eggs and read some scripture to learn more about the Easter story. So the first egg, we have three eggs left. Okay, and just to review, we've had a donkey because Jesus rode in on the donkey. Money, because Judas paid money to betray, or got paid money to betray Jesus. We have the praying hands, because Jesus went into the garden to pray. We have the cup, as Jesus um, sat at the Passover and taught us to remember him when we drink juice and eat bread um, for the Passover. We have the rooster. Yeah. As Peter denied Jesus three times before the rooster crowed. We have the whip as Jesus was hurt badly before he went to the cross. We have this little piece of thorny um, stick to remind us of Jesus' crown of thorns. We have the the cross as Jesus died on the cross and the spear to remind us that um, we know that Jesus died on the cross because they um, put a spear through him after he had died. All right, so let's find out what's in the next egg. It is a little piece of white cloth. I'm going to read from Matthew 28, 1 through, or, I'm sorry, Matthew 27, 57 through 61. This is that evening, a rich man named Joseph came to Jerusalem. He was a follower of Jesus from the town of Armathia. Joseph went to Pilate and asked to have Jesus' body. Pilate gave orders for the soldiers to give it to Joseph. Then Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. He put Jesus' body in a new tomb that he had cut in a wall of the rock. He rolled a very large stone to block the entrance of the tomb. Then Joseph went away. Mary Magdalene and the other woman named Mary were sitting near the tomb. All right, let's find out what's in our next egg. It makes a little noise. If you want to turn to somebody near you, what do you think is in this egg? It's kind of noisy. Ready? It is a rock. Kind of like the rock that might have blocked the entrance of the tomb, although it would have been a whole lot bigger than this one. I'm going to read from Matthew 27, 62. That day was the day called Preparation Day. The next day, the leading priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. They said, Sir, Remy, Remy, we remember that while that liar was still alive, he said, after three days, I will rise from the death, from the dead. So give the order for the tomb to be guarded closely till the third day. His followers might come and steal the body. Then they could tell the people that he has risen from death. That lie would be even worse than the first one. Pilate said, take some soldiers and go guard the tomb the best way you know. So they all went to the tomb and made it safe from thieves. They did this by sealing the stone on the entrance and putting soldiers there to guard it. So they took a, a huge stone and blocked the entrance to the tomb where Jesus' body was. And then they put guards in front of it because they were trying to make sure that Jesus could not come out. Have a great day, and I can't wait to see you on Easter morning so we can open up that last egg. Mm -hmm.